What's going on YouTube? It's your boy TV, and I am back with another video. And before we get into today's video, make sure you like this video as well as follow me on IG. You feel me? Alright, so today's video we will be doing a comparison of the Yeezy Foam Runner, you feel me? And a full pair of Yeezy Foam Runner. You know what I'm saying? Let's get right into it. Alright y'all, so I have done various amounts of tests on this fake pair of foam runners, you know, I walked in them, you know, I felt the material, all that other boo-boo, you know what I'm saying, quality, you know what I'm saying, the, how the shoe feels on foot and how it actually feels in your hand, you know, squeezing it and whatnot. So, let's talk about it. Alright, so, Yeezy Foam Runner, undoubtedly the most comfortable shoe out right now, I don't care what nobody say. Nothing is beating this shoe in comfort. Nothing. Not a Ultra Boost, not a Yeezy, not an Air Max, nothing. This is the most comfortable shoe on the market right now, and that's just straight facts. So, with it being just a foam material, it helps that out, but at the same time, this is also a well-crafted shoe. I know everybody talks shit about this shoe, it is what it is. This is a very well-crafted shoe, just got a whole foam shoe, and it's not easy to do. See, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about that in this video. It's not easy to replicate that, you know what I'm saying? So, like I said, these these have gotten a lot of wear out of them. You can see that, you know what I'm saying? They got some wear and tear up in there, you feel me? I wear these pretty much every time I go somewhere. Like, it don't matter if I'm going to the store, I'm going to a sneaker event, you know what I'm saying, whatever. I'm putting these on, you know what I'm saying? This is all I've been wearing since I got these, no cap. But, these is fire. And then you have this one. This is actually my top three colorway in the foam runners. The MX Moon Gray, I think that's called. Yeah, Moon Grays. Like I said, shape actually on these is not bad. Like at all. Shape is not bad. From the side. From the side. Because when you get to that aerial view, big difference. Big difference. This is chunky. This is slim look like a like a pool shoe like you straight going to a beach hey you talking about but yeah all right so the full one let's like see i walked in them i took the trash out you know what i'm saying i walked around a little bit these are some bricks bro i'm not gonna tell y'all where i got these from because i do not condone fakes whatsoever you know what i'm saying you want to get fakes do it on your own time as long as you ain't but that's what i'm saying if you rock fakes like i have no problem with you as long as you actually admit you wear fakes and you're not trying to pass them off as real or you sell fake shoes and pass them off as real I ain't cool with that but if you rock reps you rock fakes you know what I'm saying and cause you don't want to spend the actual resale price on the shoe that's on you you know what I'm saying I ain't got no problem with that as long as you admit to it you feel me but yeah these full foam runners you know so like I said they look good from the side you know what I mean and then when you actually get to this this is where you see the problems alright so look one thing about this shoe, like I said earlier, these are some bricks. Like putting these on my feet, these is solid. Like these is solid. Like, these is these are so much heavier compared to these. Like it don't make no sense. Like this is fatter, wider, all that, but somehow this one is heavier. You know what I mean? It's also not as soft on the upper of the shoe. But you see on the regular foam runners, I can push that in very easily. But on these, it's kind of like you know not like allow me to you know what I'm saying see how deep I can go into this one I can't do the same thing with this one you know what I mean so it got some very solid material on these which is not comfortable at all and also on the top you can see that the holes are a lot bigger than the actual foam runner like, look at those those holes are huge compared to the ones on the actual foam runners like it's it's, it's crazy like I said this is almost a1 like this is almost a1 like I'll tell you how much I pay I paid seventy dollars for this fake seventy dollars which is I think retail for a real pair you know what I'm saying so for this to be like this you know so I kind of expected it to be like this but I expected it to be a little more better you know whatever y'all know what I'm trying to say but yeah cuz 
it's other fake pairs out there to go for like $20, $40, you know what I'm saying? So I got the highest one that I could find that I was willing to pay for. Because I wanted to get one closest to real as possible to make this video, you know what I'm saying, more... I don't know, whatever. These are just, you know, not it. As you can see inside the holes as well, they do have a whole bunch of raw cut edges, you know what I'm saying? Like it's not clean cut like the actual farm ones. I will show y'all in a minute. Y'all look at that one. Just like a shark just bit that motherfucker. And then you look on the actual farm runners. It is clean cut. Well, more clean cut, shall I say, because you do have little tiny things that you can see up in there. But for the most part, they are clean cut. You know what I mean? And the most, the honestly, the most thing I would say about these is just the comfort. You know what I'm saying? The comfort, like, this bottom part right here. Y'all hear that? Solid. Solid. Regular farm runners. More dense. You got more bounce to it. You know what I'm saying? These are just some solid ass bricks. You know what I'm saying? And the thing about it is these fit like slippery. You know what I'm saying? Because on the inside, you can tell that it's like more rounded and more smooth and whatnot. I don't know if y'all be able to tell the difference through the camera. Like this is more rounded, more smooth, and more, you know what I'm saying, molds to your feet better. Helps the comfortability. But then with these ones, these ones is kind of just like sharp and hard and whatnot. You know what I mean? I'm gonna try to get it as best as I can, but you know, it is what it is. I was actually planning on keeping these and just wearing a fake pair. You know what I'm saying? That's I, I did plan on that, but they just didn't come how I thought they were. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, also, one more thing. On the left shoe, they didn't even finish the print. So you see, you have it right here. You go around and they just stop halfway. Like what kind of shit? Like bro, what is that? Like that's OD, that's OD. Like that shit made me laugh, like I was weak bro. That shit is funny as hell. Like damn, y'all couldn't even finish the shoe for me? Like damn. And this shoe also creases a lot. You know, so you got the crease in the back. See if y'all can see that. You know, it also got creases up here on the front and whatnot. I don't think y'all gonna be able to see it on camera, but it is what it is. These just ain't it, cuz. These is not it. They not it. Like I said, this is not really a comparison video. I'm, just, I'm pretty much just talking about this. It's supposed to be a comparison. But, yeah. This, these are just not it. Like, they just, they're too solid. The shape, the shape was almost there. Shape was almost there. Cause like I said, from the side, you know what I'm saying? It looked, you know what I'm saying, almost identical to this real one right here. But then when you look at it from the top, Nah, bro, it ain't it. And then when you get into the materials, it ain't it. Also, on the bottom, the Adidas is just not solidified at all. So look at the Adidas on the bottom of this foam runner. And then take a look at this one. Like, it's not defined. It's a triangle. You don't see three stripes. It You can barely see Adidas up there. It's just, it's not it. It's just not it, bro. Like, these is OD bad. And the thing, and back to what I said about the creases, like, you can just clearly see all the creases and whatnot on this shoe. It's just like, bro, like, what the hell? I don't even have creases on my regular foam runners yet. And I wore these, like, eight times. And I wore these for about 10 minutes. You know what I'm saying? Like, these, these are some bricks, bro. Like, these are, these are straight stiff. And it's just, I'm pretty sure there are other pairs out there on the market that are better quality than this one. But like I said, I tried, like I won't pay OD prices for no fakes. It won't happen. Like $70, to me $70 already for a fake, that's OD. But, you know what I'm saying? I'm not paying $100, 150 for a fake pair of phone runs. That's just not happening. So, it is what it is. But, yeah. These just ain't it. They not. If you want a pair of farms, I highly, highly recommend for you to either trade up or try to get them for retail. That's that's it. Like I don't, cause people with fake shoes, like I, don't, I honestly, Jordans are not comfortable. 
Like most Jordans are really not comfortable. The comfortable Jordans are probably like a Jordan 3, 4, you know, 13s. But like 1s, 6s, 11s, you know what I'm saying? Stuff that people actually wear. Not comfortable. At all. So with the Jordans, I can understand you're getting a fake pair because they're not comfortable anyway. You know what I'm saying? They look right. Have They look the same quality. It don't really matter. You know what I mean? Like I said, I don't condone fakes. But you know what I'm saying? If you do wear a fake, try to help you out. But with the phone runners, it's different because you want to get that experience of the material, the look, and everything. So I would just honestly say just trade up to get a pair or just try to cop for retail. You know what I mean? Because this right here is not worth it. You're not going to get that same experience. You're not going to get that same feel. you barely going to get the look down. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, from the side, they look A1. From the side, they look A1. I can't even cap. But that top view, that, that ain't the move. But yeah. This is not it. These like OD bad, you know what I'm saying? They like OD, you know what I'm saying? The only good thing about them is the side view. That's it, like if you walk us past somebody, you know what I'm saying? And your foot just, you know, whoop, 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 you know, that's not how people walk. Anyway, but yeah, if you walk in the side view, you know what I'm saying? People are like, oh, okay, cool, you know what I'm saying? He, he, he stepping, you feel me? But that front view and that top, no sir, no sir. And also, one thing I forgot to say, is this little part that you put your foot in right here, it's not comfortable at all. Like, at all, it's scratch. It's not scratch, but it just be hugging the fuck out your ankle. It just ain't it, bro. Like, these are so uncomfortable. So uncomfortable compared to these. Like I said, these are the most comfortable shoes on the market. Don't care what nobody says. Don't care about how nobody feel. These is it. These is the move right here. So like I said, if you want a pair, don't pay resale for them. Trade up or try to cop for retail. That's it, you know what I'm saying? I don't condone anybody to pay resale for something that's so cheap, you know what I'm saying? Like that's OD. Like like the first pair of phones that ever came out go for like $1,000. Like why would you pay $1,000 for this? You know what I'm saying? 200, I could, I could see people paying 200 for these. Just don't get you a fake pair. Just don't. You know what I'm saying? It's not gonna be worth it. You're not gonna get the same feel. You're not gonna get the same vibes. It's just don't. It's not worth it. You know what I'm saying? Like that. These ain't even comfortable. You, know, so you get the look down halfway. It's just, it's not it. It's just not it. Go ahead, get you a real pair. Trade up. Get try to get for retail. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? That's it. That's it. If you like this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit, all that hot shit. It's your boy Juan TV on the road with 10K subscribers. And I'm gone. You dig?